Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitwig Studio and Music Production. This is lesson 5.70 and in this lesson we're going to talk about independent envelope control. So I talked about at the beginning of FM that it typically didn't need to use any filters and that's because in an FM synthesizer you have specific control over the amount of modulation by utilizing some ADSR envelopes. And we can see here we have our main amplitude envelope. And if I just pull this up to a one, we can change that and shape it however we want. But for now, I'm going to go back to a gate message and just keep in mind that every one of these, if they're operating as carriers, are going to be adhering to this amplitude envelope. So if I pull this up to a two and then I start to add this in, obviously they are not independently working. We could actually set it up if we wanted to. So for example, I could take this generator number two and let's just pull it up to 100 for fun. And we could do something like that. Now, that's not really frequency modulation because all we're doing is like an additive move by an independent envelope on the amplitude function. What we want to be able to control is the amount of modulation. Typically, what you'd see is the ability to take an envelope, and it would normally be hard routed to each operator, and you would go in here and adjust the amount to the matrix. Now, you can't do that here, and what you have to do instead is determine the amount on the modulation right here. So it's a reason why I say working in the whole values of 100 is relatively helpful, because we can control the depth of this here by setting it you know, anyway from 0 to 1 or 0% to 100%. And assuming this is set to 100, that's going to give us a really good base of the maximum amount. And we could pull this down to something really small like 0.10. And we have a really good idea of how that's going to react as compared to setting random values in here and then trying to set up this modulation to work in a way that's going to be logical to us. So we can just set up this first kind of basic relationship here. Set this up as a modulator. start to add that in and the classic move would now be to create our own amplitude envelope for this so I'm going to choose something a little bit wacky okay perfect and what I want is this to just kind of act as like a percussive hit at the start of our sound so I don't want it holding out like this that's not going to be too pleasant but what might work is if we try to shape our amplitude envelope a little bit more like a percussion hit But I also want some sustain, just so we can do this example. I'm also going to set a long release so you can see me set the release inside of this second um, envelope generator. And you can choose any one of these you like. Let's go ahead and just choose four, just so you can see that these aren't like hardwired in any way. And I'm going to set this to my modulator. I'll just set it up 100% for now. And I need to then go in here and what I choose for. Yeah. So I need to go in here and make sure that I actually set some depth to this. Otherwise, nothing is going to happen. We'll see this move up. But, you know, nothing going there. So I'll go ahead and now set this up. And we're getting something, but the attack envelope is just so, so freaking fast. And there's no decay. So it's just giving us more of like a click. getting that metallic start at the beginning. I'm going to add some sustain onto this guy. And let me add more sustain. Just so we can watch to see what happens if I then crank up on the release. If we want this release to get all the way back to zero before our main amplitude envelope goes back to nothing to silence we need to make sure we set this under but or we can do the opposite so we'll try both approaches here so let's take a listen and watch what happens 
So we could see the speed that that cut off. Let's see if I pull that all the way up, pull this up a little more. Much, much, much slower there. Okay, and that's really the foundations of frequency modulation. Now we have a true frequency modulator, uh, excuse me, a frequency modulation based patch here. And this is now operating as a true operator because it has its own independent envelope generator acting on it. The cool thing is that if we wanted, excuse me, we could actually set another envelope generator here to control our course tuning. So this is a little more crazy, but let's just go ahead and do it for fun. So I'll set this and I'll just put it up to like plus, we'll do something that's kind of extreme so we can hear it. Let's go plus five. Now let's listen to what happens here. kind of like a crazy sci-fi piano we were able to make there very easily. And we can take a look at this on the span. So this is something possible inside of a frequency modulator based synthesizer that you simply cannot do with a subtractive synth. I hope that's been helpful for you guys. Get in there, start to mess around with these, and you'll hear from me again in the next lesson. Take care.